Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this super easy spring makeup look. I was really inspired to do a look with an orangey metallic lip for spring. There's also going to be an updated brow routine in this video, so if you guys are interested in that, it's right in here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. If you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. So I already primed my face with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pure. Next, moving on to foundation, I'm going in with the Pure Cosmetics Hydro Fluid Foundation in the shades Tan and Light, and I'm just going to be mixing them together to get my perfect shade. I really love this foundation for the spring and summer and warmer months because it's very lightweight. The coverage is light to medium coverage, but you can definitely build it up if you want more coverage, and it doesn't feel cakey or anything like that, so it's great for this type of weather. So I'm just gonna be dotting it all over the face and then blending it out with a damp beauty blender. Next to highlight and correct a little bit, I'm going with the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in the shade Yellow. This is really going to help brighten up the areas that I want to brighten up and bring forward. And it's also going to help conceal and mask those dark areas like my freckles and stuff like that. So I'm just going to be placing this in the areas that I want to kind of correct, but then also brighten and bring forward. And I'm going to be blending that out with a damp beauty blender. To conceal, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in the shade Y23, and I'm just going to be applying that in basically all the areas that I applied that yellow corrector in. Under my eyes, on the sides of my mouth where my laugh lines are, underneath my contour area, on the bridge of my nose, and then also in the center of my forehead, just to brighten up those areas a little bit. Oh, and my cupid's bow and chin, just to brighten up those areas a bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our damp beauty blender once again, and I'm just going to go and blend all of that out. Next to contour, I'm going in with the Pure Cosmetics Cameo Contour Stick in the shade Medium, and I'm just going to be using the darker contouring side. I'm going to be applying that in my usual contour areas. I want to contour my cheekbones, I want to contour around the perimeter of my face, my nose, my chin, and also my jawline. And then I'm going to take this e.l.f. small stippling brush to blend all of that out. To blend out my nose contour, I'm just going to be switching brushes and using this Real Techniques shading brush. I find that it works really well at blending out my nose contour and getting it the way I want it. To set everything, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and we are going to be shaking and baking today. So I'm going to be applying this heavily under my eye area, on my laugh lines, in the center of my forehead, and just in the areas that I tend to crease in or get oily in. And then I'm gonna take this Neutrogena Shine Control Powder and just pat that on everywhere else. To warm up my complexion, I'm going in with the Pure Cosmetics Matte to Shimmer Bronzer in the shade Glow Together. I think I've mentioned in a few videos that I've used this bronzer that some of the proceeds go to the Action Against Hunger organization. So if you want to support them, I definitely recommend this bronzer. It's really good and it blends out nicely and gives you a nice sun-kissed glow. So I'm just going to be applying it to the perimeter of my face, kind of like a three-like shape on the sides of my face. For blush, I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics Mineralized Blush in Gentle. It's a really pretty pink shimmery color and I felt like it would go really good with this look and give me a nice rosy toned blush to the cheeks. To strengthen my contour a little bit more, I'm going in with the NYX Cosmetics Cheek Contour Duo Palette in the shade Double Date. It has a really nice cool toned contour shade. So I'm going to be applying that underneath my cheekbones with the Luxie Beauty number 504 angled brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my nose to set that contour a little bit and strengthen that a little bit more as well. I'm using the Luxie Beauty 231 brush to apply that. I'm then taking the lighter shade on my Sonia Kashuk number 103 brush and I'm just going to apply that directly on the center of my nose down the bridge just to highlight that area. Alright, so moving on to the brows, I promised you guys an updated brow routine, so here it is. First, I'm taking the Sigma Brow and Lash E80 brush to brush them out and groom them a little bit. 
And then I'm going in with the Sigma Brow Pencil in Clean Cut, which is kind of like a taupe tone brow pencil color. And I'm going to be lining my brows starting from the bottom. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start creating a tail and carving that out, kind of creating the base for it before I put down powder. Moving on to brow powder, I'm going in with the Sigma Brow Powder in the shade Light, and I'm going to be taking my Sigma Angled Brow Brush, which is the E75 Angled Brow Brush, to apply that. So I'm picking up the lighter shade, and I'm applying that directly in the inner part of my brow, and then I'm going to kind of gradient it towards the tail of my brow. I'm then going in with the Sigma Brow Powder in the shade Medium, and I'm picking up the lighter color from that duo. To be applying that in the center of my brow using feather-like motions, I'm going to continue on with the gradient effect, so this is kind of like the center shade for that gradient effect. Oh, and just as a side note, if you're curious about these Sigma brushes that I'm using for my brows, you can buy all four of them as a set, or you can buy them individually, it's up to you, but if you get the set, you get it for a little bit cheaper. I'll leave the link down below. And then I'm taking the darker shade from that same duo and I'm going to be applying that in the more sparse areas and then also the tail of my brow. I don't have much of a brow tail, I mean I do, but it's very, very sparse and I really need to carve it out and build it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to all the sparse areas and really build on that tail and that arch of my brow. Next I'm taking the Sigma Standout Eyes Gel Liner in the shade Liberally Toasted, which is a brown, deep brown shade. And I'm using my Sigma Winged Liner brush which is the EO6 brush to apply that. I'm going to be applying strokes of this product that mimic brow hairs so using this brush is really important because it's very small and it's very thin so it's really going to help to mimic brow hairs. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that in the front of my brow and then also in the areas that I felt were sparse which is right there and then on the tail of my brow I really want to mimic some brow hairs there as well. And then I'm going to go in with a spoolie to brush that out a little bit so that way it blends in nicely and it doesn't look too harsh. To clean up the brows, I'm going in with this Sigma Brow Highlighting Pencil. It has a matte side and a shimmer side. I'm going to be taking the matte side, which is kind of like a concealer, and I'm going to be using that to clean up the bottom of my brow all the way through. And then I'm also going to be cleaning up just around the arch and the tail. I'm not going to take it all the way through on the top because I want it to look somewhat natural. I mean, obviously not super natural but somewhat natural and I'm just gonna go ahead and take a concealer brush to blend that out and then carve out that tail. I'm then going to be taking the more shimmery side and applying that to the high point of my brow bone as a shimmery base. To set the brows and make sure they don't move a muscle, I'm going, well not a muscle but a hair, I'm going in with the Sigma Brow Wax and I'm just going to be applying that all the way through to make sure our brows are locked and loaded. And that is how we get our brows on fleek. Moving on to shadow, I'm going in with the Pure Cosmetics Cease Crease Eyeshadow Primer just to make sure that our shadow stays put all day and I'm just going to be patting this all over the entire eye area. Next I'm going in with the Sigma Brow Highlighting Duo and I'm going to be using this as shadow today. I'm using the shade Ray of Light and I'm just going to be applying the lighter shade all over my entire eye area to set that base. I'm using my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush to apply that. Next I'm going in with this Sigma Brow Highlight Duo Palette in the shade Goddess Glow. It has a really nice matte peachy tone, so I'm taking my MAC 217 brush to apply that to the crease and buff it out. Next I'm taking the Sigma Brow Highlight Duo Palette in the shade Bring to Light and I'm picking up this matte peachy toned taupey shade and I'm going to go ahead and blend out my transition area with that and just really blend out that crease color that we put down there. I'm going to be using my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush to apply that. I'm then just going to pick up the more shimmery shade from that same duo and I'm using my Sigma E71 Highlight Diffuser to highlight my brow bone. I'm then going in with that peachy tone that I used in the crease and I'm applying that to the lower lash line. Next I'm going in with the Pure Cosmetics Eye Polish in the shade Cashmere which is a really nice champagne gold color and I'm going to be applying that all over the lid as well as in the inner corners. I'm using the tool that it comes with to apply it because I feel like that applies it best. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that all over the lid, blend out that edge and then I'm going to be taking it into the inner corner and the inner third of my lower lash line to highlight.
for liner, I'm going in with my Tarte Tardis Clay Paint Liner and my Sigma E06 Winged Liner Brush. This is the best brush brush, best brush to use for winged liner. It just works so good. And then I'm just going to clean it up with some concealer. For mascara, I'm using the Pure Cosmetics Fully Charged Mascara and I'm just going to be applying that to my upper and lower lashes. Next for falsies, I'm going in with the Cocoa Lashes in Queen B. But before we do that, I wanted to just deepen up that crease color a little bit. So I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Shadow in the shade Morocco. And I'm applying that with my Sigma this is E37 All Over Blend Brush. And really just blending that out and deepening up that crease. And then we can go back to applying our falsies. I'm using some tweezers to apply them. I do have a how to apply false lashes video that I will link down below if you're interested in a full in-depth tutorial on how to do that. Next to get our Spring J.Lo Glow on, I'm going in with this Pure Cosmetics Strobe Highlighting Palette in the shade Sunkissed Glow. And I'm just going to be taking a damp beauty blender to apply that in my highlight areas, on the high points of my cheeks, temples, down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, and then also my chin. And then I'm just going to be topping that cream highlighter off with the Pure Cosmetics Afterglow Illuminating Powder. Moving on to the lips, I'm just going to be lining my lips with the lip liner from the Kylie Lip Kit in the shade 22, which is an orange lip liner. And then for lipstick, I'm going in with the MAC lipstick in the shade Meltdown, which is a frost sheen, so it's nice and metallic. And then I'm going to set my face with my MAC Fix Plus. And there we have it for this look. So that's gonna be it for this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed the look. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, thumbs up the video if you guys wanna see more spring makeup tutorials. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Just click right here if you're on your desktop or just click the subscribe button down below if you're not. All right, I think that's it. I don't think I have any pressing news. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Like, Oh my goodness, get it together. Okay.